So the, the role of the teaching assistant in, in this school, and indeed in, in other schools in which I've worked, has been one of increasing importance. And I think the contribution that, that teaching assistants are making to, to, to learning and teaching in the classroom is fantastic. And that's across a whole range of subjects. I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky because I've been working with her for three years. And we're like, we're like sisters, we're friends, really good friends. As a teacher, you can get so much more done. It's nice to have someone else in the class with you as well to um, support you. I do the activities she plans and also look after the children. I speak with the parents. So we're working, we work as a team. It's really, really good. I couldn't, I couldn't exist with my teaching assistants. They're just, they're my eyes, they're my ears. They support me in everything and remind me of things. If I get the day wrong or I'm doing a song with the children, they're just wonderful. We help with the planning, obviously with the children. We're teaching the children language because most of the children are Spanish. So when they first started nursery, they haven't really got to any language, English language. I think without my teaching assistants, I, my class wouldn't run. They, we work together, we try not to put the control and power in my hands because working as a teaching assistant I know what it feels like to work on an equally balanced classroom and then not. We change our responsibilities daily, so one will be doing an adult focus activity and one of us will be doing playing with the children, recording observations. I do lots of translation because as I said my speciality are languages and I speak, uh, I'm fluent in six languages. So this school, you know, it, um, we have lots of international students and I'm really good at that because I can communicate with lots of different cultures. I mean, we have a very close relationship with the teacher. It's more of a team. I don't look at it as teacher and TA because we work together. If I have an idea, and I do have many, <laughs> I suggest to him, well, maybe we could do it this way, maybe we could do it that way. He then looks into it, decides whether he thinks that's a good idea. We, we work together. I think that's the main thing about being a TA. You're not a separate person to the teacher. You are a team. Normally, I will work in a group and we can be doing something like painting. Today, we, I've had a group of children where we've been painting pictures of what they have done during the Easter holidays. But a lot of the time, it will be me doing a circle time and they'll be supporting, normally sitting with the children who need help and support behaviourally or, or, you know, academically, anything like that. The names, pansies, well done. It's a little bit difficult. Buttercups. Well done. I love, I love the role play area and I love creating things. It's, it's something I enjoy a lot. I like playing with the children, creating new things and then and then they can give me their ideas and we can work together and I love it, it's, it's my favourite part. We do little TEFL type activities with the children. We follow the letters and sounds like in England but we adapt it for the children here. So it's fantastic having two assistants to support them so every day we can have little activities going on in the morning and in the afternoon. The teachers do the, pl the planning and then we uh, I do the dojo, or we call it the funky fingers as well. That's what the class does because it's not just a dojo, it's the other exercises as well. So we're given things to do. Somebody is in charge of the patio, and then they have time out of the out of the week to do that as well. The TAs are in the actual classroom quite a lot of the time, where the teachers are out preparing the plan as well. I have one teacher assistant in charge of motor development, one in charge of creative, and one in charge of what I call the touch and talk table, which is to encourage communication and, and language. And so I always try and channel everyone into their strengths, sometimes tackling their weaknesses as well, because I do that myself. Certain things I'm, I'm, I need to develop, so I try and do them every day. I plan uh, the creative activities because uh, I'm quite creative. Uh, at patio time, when we have a problem, they all come to me because they know I can communicate with them, or even with the parents. I think I bring sort of a sense of humour to it, because I think, especially the, the children at this age, you can't be too serious about yourself. It's about the children coming to school, because some of the children are two years old when they come to the school. So it's more a case of getting them settled into an environment that they're comfortable with. Teaching assistants have the opportunity to get closer to the children, to develop that bond of trust and to be able to, to support those who need that little bit of extra input but also to challenge and extend 
uh, those children who uh, will benefit from that extra bit of uh, prompting. The teaching assistants are just so involved. They're working alongside the children, um, they're supporting the teachers in the classroom. They're prepared to do just about anything um, you would ask them. Uh, we've been working together for three years now, so we've got a good relationship. Um, and he is an invaluable resource. Um, I think all teaching assistants are. My primary uh, role is to listen to readers and also uh, support classroom activities, literacy and maths, and sometimes get involved with topic work as well. And it's mainly to aid um, the class teacher um, and help um, certain uh, groups that need more support. He works with children, groups of children on activities I've planned. Um, for literacy or for numeracy, where he'll have a small group, um, either a group he's supporting, children who are finding things a bit difficult and he'll take things back a bit. But at the same time, he'll, he'll also take an extension group um, to challenge them and push them on a bit further. Beginning of most lessons, we have a carpet time and we have the children on the carpet and the teacher will be teaching them and she's in front and from behind I can see what's going on. I support her in helping the children reach their learning objectives. I do the simple tasks like sharpening the pencils, making sure the resources are there every day um, required for each lesson. I'd say my primary role is to firstly support the teacher in whatever she needs and secondly make sure that the children are happy in what they're doing. I do a lot of work one-on-one uh, -on -one with readers especially and help some of the children who find it more difficult with flashcards and extra um, help in that sense. I'm a teaching assistant so I um, support the teacher. I work in a reception class for the children that are starting school for the first time. As well as supporting children in groups, she does individual work, she um, we're talking with the parents, um, obviously preparing for my lessons and things, she's always got everything organised. I'm supporting their learning, extending and enhancing what the teacher has, um, has done with the children. I work as a teaching assistant, um, so my role in the classroom is I look at that as a support to the teacher and to the children. So sitting on the carpet we sit in circles or the teacher is using the whiteboard and I will either sit with them or I will um, watch what they're writing on their whiteboard because you still need to look and check they've written the numbers the right way and they've understood what's going on and they're doing their own work. He'll feed back to me if he feels that there's a child who needs more challenging or, or needs some, some more support in their reading or in their phonics. Uh, special educational needs children, making sure they're focused on task. Uh, and need additional help as well. And so we're really a team um, between us. You know, we, we'll, we'll make sure that the, the uh, children's cycle, learning cycle is, um, you know, progressing. Where he's fe he's feeding back to me their learning, and I'm then applying it into my future planning. He makes the learning fun. He'll you can hear when he's working in a group with the children, they're laughing. And so I think that that's a nice on dress up days. He's, he'll always come in with a fantastic outfit. So he's a good. An element of humour. I lead the art class on a Monday afternoon and I assist in the art class on a Tuesday afternoon. That's primarily because my interest is in art and I've, I've done a lot of that with the children and run an after school club. I also take a group for maths and often work with a group for English as well for literacy. And we do a lot of group work with topic and other other subjects like that. Uh, so I took a small group and we made a skeleton um, out of pipe cleaners. The main aim for today was that all the children could understand what the skeleton was, how it's useful in the body and how we would be without it. We've got this You've got lungs in there too. Oh, yeah. Just, no, okay, I'm so um, and I prompted some of the children with questions and we looked at books and I got a good idea of the ones who knew a little bit more, perhaps the names of some of the bones and also they brought in uh, knowledge that they had from previous lessons to do with organs and things contained within the skeleton. Within year one I support all the sessions of the class so during their PE and art I go to different uh, areas of the school and it just depends which lesson they're working on. We work as a team and, I, and she, uh, the teacher I work with 
um, gives me quite a lot of uh, responsibility. So I do like working with carousel, um, in a carousel with children and even uh, often it's mixed ability. Sometimes we try and choose uh, children for similar ability just to see if we can push uh, the, the, their learning a little bit further, which you can do, we found we can do a bit better if they're of a similar ability. Mm -hmm.